Ham Radio. Welcome back, everybody. It's Freddie Mac, your Ham Radio Crusader, and I'm here with another product review. And this one's a dilly. <laughs> yeah, Redivus reached out to me and said, hey, would you like to try this new improved Redivus RT97L GMRS repeater? I'm like, well, yeah, <laughs> of course I would. And you know what? Next thing I know, I had a package in the mail, and here it is. Look at this, y'all. Can you believe your eyes? I, uh, I'm thoroughly impressed to have received this, and I want to thank Redivus for this opportunity to uh, review such an awesome product I've heard so much about. So with that said, we now have the Emboxinator Millennia Edition. <laughs> this was made for me by my good friend and relative, N5PMP, James over there in Kellyville, America. So thank you, James. And we shall open this puppy up. Our initial incisions right down the sternum. And we give that tape a cut here and a cut there. And we should be good to go. Do we have here some very good, nicely packed items? Yes, it's the Redivus RT97 LGMRS repeater. And this is its user manual. We'll set that aside for a moment. Looks like a packing list and some nicely densely packed styrofoam. We've got a box of some sort. Oh, and there it is. I'll have to stand up to get this out of the box correctly. Wow, this thing is a hoss. Oh, and another box. Okay, we'll put that aside. We'll take the big outer package, set it aside, and look how well this thing is packaged, y'all. Nice, thick styrofoam. Oh my goodness. This is neato mosquito. Wow. And we'll take off its plastic casing there. My goodness, this thing is metallic metal case. Very sweet. It's like we've got a display, up and down arrows, a menu button. PL, I'm sorry, an SO239 connector for the antenna. The Redivus moniker RT97L says connect antenna before powering on. That's not a bad idea. It's pretty good advice, actually. And it looks like we have an accessory connector here. It's like a nine pin uh, DB9. And this is possibly a microphone connector. I'm not 100% sure, but it's a five pin DIN connector of some kind. Oh my goodness, this thing is a hoss and wow. Okay, so let's see what are in the boxes. The boxes aren't light. So let's set the repeater aside for a moment. That's pretty cool. And this first box looks like it contains some kind of power cord, which may have been that other connector, not a microphone that I was looking at. So yeah, there's that five pin DIN connector I was telling you about. Back shell circular has a keyway. And this is a brick power supply. It looks like it's uh, 120 volts, 100 to 240 volts AC input, output of 15 volts at 10 amps. 150 watt power supply. And there's another cable that's probably in another box. So let's take a look at that. Here's the other box, we'll open it up. And yes, we got plenty more connectors here. This is a five pin DIN connector with a cigarette lighter plug so that you can power it up on the go. There's the other half of that power supply cable. Looks like your standard uh, computer AC cable, and what I believe is a programming cable that goes in that DB9 port in the side. And we've got some wall mounting uh, hardware and some mounting brackets. Interesting. Hadn't considered that. Very, very cool. So let's take a look in the manual and see what it is that we have here. To the users, welcome to choose our company repeater. We will provide you with the reliable, clearly efficient communication service. In order to let you learn more functions, usage, and maintenance methods about this repeater, please read the manual. Read this manual carefully before you use the product. There's some safety information, installing and removing the power adapter. That is that five pin port. Uh, installing and removing the feed line to the antenna port. And you can see the use right there. You see these drawings right here are those metal brackets that we saw here. 
So they must assist you in wall mounting. These are the brackets that came with it. There are four of them. I like this idea. If necessary, the four mounts can be inserted into the screw holes on the rear panel of the repeater. To remove the mounts, unscrew the screws. There is a lot of information in this manual I'm gonna have to sit and read, but it looks like all the channels, all the GMRS channels are pre-programmed into it. Now the one for my house here is 467, I'm sorry, 462550 would be the receive frequency. So that's uh, channel number nine because the transmits 467550. I don't use a subaudible tone of 136.5 but I do use 100.0 and that particular channel needs to be a narrow band. So we'll have to take a look at that and see if I can change that PL tone through the programming. I'm betting I can. You can also use DCS tones, 16 channel. It's a 16 channel repeater, has a bandwidth of 20 kilohertz or, or 12.5 kilohertz, so wide or narrow. Has about 5% audio distortion, frequency stability of plus or minus 2.5 PPM. 22 watts output power or five watts, out, five watts output power. I'm sure you can adjust that. So this is very, very cool. Not a whole super amount in there, but once you're programmed, it's pretty much plug and play, I would think. Okay, so we're ready to start the test now. I'm gonna leave the microphones here because they won't reach over a mile. Well, they probably only reach about 80 feet, but I'm gonna leave them here to record this radio receiving from this repeater. I've got it on an outside antenna. I'll throw a picture of it in there somewhere, but nonetheless, here go with the test. Okay, so I've got the repeater hooked up to an external antenna outside of the shack. This is the uh, Red of a Silence HA1G. It's got the original firmware on it. This model has the upgraded firmware. We're not gonna upgrade this one till later, but let's see how they work. WRUT923. WRUT 923. WRUT 923. And we're going to go do some distance tests. We'll be right back. WRUT 923. All right, I'm going to leave it in this orientation because there's less QRM. Here we go. The first test is about uh, 30 feet away. WRUT 923. Okay, here's the second test, about 100 feet away. WRUT. WRUT 923. WRUT 923 on the handheld island spread of a HA1G. Probably about five blocks away from the house. Test of the Redimus RT97L GMRS repeater. This is WRUT 923. Freddie Mac, your ham radio crusader, and I approve this repeater. Okay, so we're here at the tower site and the cabinet is open and you can see up at the top some of the county's equipment right here at the bottom though, however, is the Redivus RT97L GMRS repeater and it is active. Has been for a couple of days now and been doing really, really good. So let's give it a shot, shall we? This is WRUT923. Grandson, time to come back to camp now. It's almost supper time. Hey, Papa, just there just a little bit. You know the Redivus RT97L repeater now has an upgraded duplexer and an extended range because it's putting out 25 watts of power. You can set it down lower, but 25 watts is the max. It does have a plug and play setup. It has some all weather durability. That nice hardened metallic aluminum case really helps with all of that. And with them having 10,000 plus happy customers and counting, says a lot for a device that works and works consistently. You can get fast free shipping. There's a 30 day money back guarantee, lifetime free resources for download and upgrade support. 
There's a lifetime technical and customer support from Rotovis, and they have several different payment methods. It's portable and it's lightweight. It weighs just under eight pounds. This thing is awesome. It comes with a leather carrying handle. Features 16 GMRS channels to choose from, and it's connectable to a Raspberry Pi for an external controller application, which we're gonna do in the next video. It does offer high temperature protection, and it has a low temperature mode. So at temperatures at five degrees Fahrenheit, the internal heating system will activate. And it does feature a LCD screen with detailed display. This thing has everything you want in a nice family portable GMRS repeater. You can't go wrong here, folks. So right off the bat, I gotta make a correction here. So after referencing their YouTube page at Redibus, it's not these screws that you remove. You can carefully remove these soft rubber plugs right here and then then the supplied screws go right into place and now you've got mounting hardware that's very stout for your repeater in case you want to mount it onto a wall or wherever not bad this rubber comes off but with just a little bit of minimal effort because they were sealed pretty good voila now the repeater can be mounted onto a wall with ease So in addition to the AC power supply that comes with the Redivis RT97L repeater, they also send you a DC power cable. It plugs into the same port into the side of the repeater with a cigarette lighter plug. And with the repeater already plugged in to a antenna, you can plug in the power cable here. And if you have a battery box, that has a cigarette lighter plug on it, you can just plug it right into there and turn it on. And you've got a portable repeater out in the wild that is powered up. Take a portable antenna with you and you're good to go. You could put that antenna up on a push pole or you could put it up on a uh, vehicle or a fence line or something that would give you superior elevation, anything above the height of a human would be sufficient to give you some extra range because you're turning that five watt walkie talkie or that 10 watt walkie talkie into 25 watts as it goes through the repeater and it's being retransmitted. Isn't that great? So in summary, y'all, this is a nifty little repeater with a lot of features and a really good output range. In the next video, we're gonna put a Raspberry Pi mini single board computer on this as an external repeater controller using some Linux software. We'll get into that in detail and we'll cover the programming. The programming's pretty basic because all you're really gonna do is change CTCS tones or power levels or whatever you wanna do, but the frequencies will stay the same because it's a GMRS repeater and those repeater frequencies are set. The only thing you could really change other than that is make it a wide band or a narrow banded channel. But what a great little device, y'all. So the Redivus RT97L GMR repeater, it's got my seal of approval. It's portable, it's functional, and it's good to go when you are. This is Freddie Mac, your ham radio crusader saying 73s, wishing all the good signals to be yours, and ham on, y'all.